Whiskey, Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Today I have Teeling Whiskey Renaissance Number no. 1. 46% ABV, 9,000 bottles worldwide. This is a maturation in ex-bourbon casks until it received a 10-month It says maturation inside, but it's actually a finish in Madeira casks. Ooh. Over here in Europe, 140 euros, 149 with postage is what I had to pay. Um, Now, I don't know, but it has the feeling that someone's compensating for something here. This is just massive, all right? Now, I'm going to compare it to the Turcano, the 16-year-old Ololoso and Moscatel cask finish, which is amazing. Uh, this is Coolie Juice, and this is Coolie Juice as well. Now, I first saw this box at the um, Hansa Spirit in 2020 in Hamburg. Wow, is that a, not a great presentation? That is so awesome. I really like that. You have this nice little pool tab down below. Look how thin the bottle is. And I always have a f- question that it's going to fall over, but it's so heavy it won't. This is a very, very thin hard foam um very well done i will read the box very quickly it says here to celebrate the rebirth and the next chapter in irish whiskey's new golden age teeling whiskey is proud to present the renaissance now they had five bottles for the revival when they first started their distillery that were the revival one two three four and five i love number five as by the way and this is a limited series of single malt bottling celebrating the very best that teeling whiskey has to offer nine thousand bottles worldwide the Renaissance Series number one consists of aged 19, 18-year-old single malt, initially matured in ex-bourbon cask before receiving extra maturation, I'm finished, in ex-Madeira cask, imparting rich red berry sweetness, white pepper, I hate it when they write red pepper, which means hot, and ripe peaches, hmm, let's see if I get some peaches. Bottled at 46% with no chill filtration. This is truly an Irish whiskey to savor. Jack Teeling, very good. I love their nice little phoenix. Um, They have this new symbol down there, and they have, of course, the phoenix here, and the phoenix on the bottle, and so on. All right, now, um, as Alfie says, the bottle is a contract with the customer, and there's a problem with the with the bottle. There's no mention whatsoever of non-chilled filtering. And there's no mention whatsoever on the box or on the bottle about no color added. Now, this is a pretty, pretty dark color, to be honest. And here in Germany, you have to actually write that down there. Now, to be very honest, once again, they did not send this to Germany. They sent it to Belgium, a border with Germany. Netherlands, a border with Germany. France, a border with Germany. Denmark, a border with Germany. And Italy, which is not bordered by Germany because we have Austria and Switzerland in between us. Basically everywhere and a few selected Asian markets. Why they didn't send it to Germany, I will never know. Germany is a big market for whiskey over here in um, Europe, but apparently they just decided to ignore us. All right, now... um, Let's pour this, and let's try this, and let's talk about this. First of all, Revival had these copper corks. Um, This thing weighs a quarter of a pound, maybe even more. Um, This is amazing. This is so heavy. Uh, I think it was um, one of the other YouTubers once said, you could kill a cat with one of these things. Just throw it, and you'll hit them, and that's the end of it. Never do that, but that's what they mention. Now, the the tab here is very thick aluminum. Um, almost have the feeling you cut yourself on that, which I hope would never happen. Um, good. So, 149 euros, as I mentioned. So, I think it's going to be about $180 in the States, maybe a little bit more. I've also mentioned I'm going to compare it to this, which is the Turconel, uh 16-year-old. They're both Cooley Distillate Spirit. Now, go back to the history of Teeling. Teeling, John Teeling, a teetotaler, by the way, which does not drink whiskey. I actually interviewed him at the Irish um, Whiskey Live in Ireland in Dublin 2019 at the end of November. Great, great guy who now runs the Great Northern Distillery. Um, He started the the company Teeling. Now, um, he sold it. 
well done to Beam Suntory for a certain amount of money. And at the very beginning, people are like, that's not enough money, is it? Until we no- realized he had tens of thousands of casks he was able to take with him out of the warehouse. I heard that they had to get them out of there within like 72 hours. It was one of those mammoth type of um, logistic um, <laughs> enterprises, and it was worth every single penny. Because I still have the whiskey in the warehouses. Uh, Teeling has just brought out a single pot still whiskey, which is about four years old. And they can't have an 18-year-old whiskey. There was no Teeling distillery in Dublin 18 years ago. So this is still Cooley Juice. The same thing here with Turconel. This is now a Beamton Suntory product. They still have their old products and producing new products. And so this is still that. What they did is they put this in a Sherry Odoloso as well as a Muscatel, which is a sweet, um, heavy wine casks finish. So both of them are cask finished. Both of them are from Ireland. Both of them are double distilled. Both of them were produced at the Cooley Distillery. Both of them had the the finishes, Madeira, and here we had the Moscatel and Oroloso. This is 150 euros for me. This is about 80 euros, so almost half the price. Good. And they both have a little dog tags on them. Isn't that nice? All right, good. Let's try the difference here. Dark. Almost sugar, molasses, raspberry, black currant jelly, and a little bit of a, I said black sugar, a little bit of molasses type of moment in there. I don't get the peaches. I'm so sorry. Nice nose, nice nose. It's a little bit quiet, the nose. I was expecting this bomb, this boom-bastic moment of um, Madeira, but it just didn't come. Over here, much more of an intensive, sweeter nose. The Moscatel, I love Moscatel finished wines. They're just so great. Right, Moscatel finished whiskeys, Moscatel wine. Mm. And the nose... This is a little bit lighter, a little bit fruitier. This is a little bit darker and a little bit more richer. Okay? So I would say on the nose, the Teeling Renaissance wins. Let's try it. Mmm. 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 Wow, is that hot. Now, I've already done my German video, so I knew what to expect. I've had three glasses of whiskey so far this evening, doing my whiskey tasting videos. And it's still hot. This is 46%. Now, I have a little bit of a theory, a conspiracy theory. Now, um, Teeling has been putting out whiskey now for like four or five years. And um, they're still sourcing from all all those old barrels they had to take out of the warehouse within a very short day or within a week or less. I think they had like an, an old 16, 17-year-old back there in the back of the warehouse someplace, and everyone's like, this isn't getting better. What are we going to do with it? Well, we're going to make it into a special release, 9,000 barrels. So we're going to put that into the best wine barrels we can find. Let's go for something special. We've done brandy. We've done, we've done cognac. We've done other things. Um, let's go for Madeira. With the best money in the world, you can buy any type of casks you want. They might be seasoned, but hey, who cares? We have seasoned port casks, we have seasoned cherry casks, we have seasoned probably even um, Amarone casks, and I'm sure we have a seasoned Madeira cask. You make more money with the cask than you do with the wine that was in it at the moment. Welcome to the global economy. All right, and so they put their their um, their whiskey in those casks and said, "Ta-da! We're gonna a great compensating type of box. We're a wonderful, beautiful bottle with a great cap on top." And the whiskey is, well, uh, we did our best. <laughs> Personally, my opinion. And you even they even wrote in the tasting notes, pepper. All right? I mean, that takes guts to actually write that on your tasting notes in an 18-year-old whiskey here. Yeah, it says here, white pepper. And white pepper is a little bit mm, intense. All right, going over here to the Turconel. Um, 16-year-old with our Odoloso and our Moscatel finish. Mm. 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 
And I'm going to do the same thing with my hand. It's going to be... Bloop. Towards the end, you swallow in the aftertaste. First of all, you have white pepper as well. 12 seconds max. <laughs> oh, look, white pepper. And then the fruitiness kicks in again, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful experience. The mouthfeel is much richer, much oily, much more of a great whiskey. The ex bourbon barrels that were used for this are higher class than they were for this. I think this was basically an inactive cask for 16 plus years, and they put in Madeira at the end, and hello, there, very good, thank you, bye bye, and that's it. Um, what a shame, what a shame, what a shame. Now, I'm going to do something which is a little bit um, unusual, but I do still want to do this, and I want to show you which is the best whiskey at the moment for this price. Oh, oh there it is. Ah, <laughs> Bushmill, 16 year old. Bushmill 16-year-old is a three-wood whiskey. This is a two-wood. You have a bourbon Madeira. This is a three-wood. You have bourbon. You have Oroloso. And you have here um, Moscatel. And here you have bourbon. You have port. And you have sherry. And this is the best bang for the buck moment at the moment, I still think, if you want to go for something that's so fruity. Now, this is 46%, this is 46%, and this is 40%. I'm sorry. If it was higher proof, of course, it would be better. I know, I know. But still, if you just take this... Wait a second, I want to cleanse my palate. Just take it as it is, and you nose, and you go, wow, that's some depth. This is one of the whiskeys that actually converted me to whiskeys at all. I tried this once and it was back then. This is like 80 euros at the moment over here. Maybe you can get it for 70. I remember buying it for like 35. At the moment, was like, oh, can I pay 35 euros for a whiskey? That's so expensive. Today I buy a bottle for 150 euros and don't even think about it. But I do have a bottle share and most of this has already gone to other people who have their little five CL bottles from me or the 10 CL bottles that they buy and I send it with a with a post and that's very very nice so it makes my life easier therefore I can buy those expensive great bottles and share them with up to 14 or 13 different people mm. 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 ah there's an explosion of fruit and flavors at the end. And that wood, that dark wood chocolate moment just kicks in at the end. This is the thing you need to be trying. If you can't get that and you can find this, good luck. <laughs> this is amazing. This is great. This, if you're a collector, go for it. If you're a Teeling fan, go for it. If you're not a Teeling fan and not a collector, eh, Try it at a bar. Find someone. Go to Whiskey Fair. Don't buy the bottle. It's not worth it. I'm sorry. If you're looking for great Irish spirits, the old classic will never, 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 never do you wrong. Good. Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American. I give this a, a C minus, and I'm going to give it a value for money of a D minus. 150 euros for something I didn't really like. Hmm. Uh, my question of the day is, what whiskeys, does not be Irish, what whiskeys do you know that actually have a double finish? So, we have a double finish here, Port Cherry. We have a double finish here, Ololoso on, and also uh, Moscatel. There are other things that have a double, double finish. And, or, you could also answer the question for me, what other whiskeys do you know that have a Madeira finish? Bushmills 21, for example, about the same price, maybe 5, 10 euros more, at least over here in Germany. Um, you pay about 169, 159 euros for the 21 year um, aged um, Bushmills with Madeira finish. That is an excellent whiskey as well. Very sweet, very fruity, very, very nice. Nothing compared to this. It's so much better. So do you know any whiskeys with Madeira finishes? And do you know any whiskeys that have a double finish? Port Cherry. Madeira, I'm sorry, Madeira, we have here the Muscatel and the Oroloso. Thank you very much. You can talk, contact me anytime you want at whiskeyjason, one word, at gmail.com. And um, please like, subscribe, tell others. My whiskey videos come out about three times a week. And I will always try to um, review the rare and exotic things, things you normally will not able to be able to find in your normal liquor store. Maybe so expensive or so rare you've never seen them. All right, thank you very much. All the best. Whiskey Jason here. Bye-bye.